Hey, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is for the newest Talk Indie To Me box. This month the theme is flowers and the guest maker is peach tree polish. I will have all of the information for this box in the description below. This goes on sale today, February 16th. I have some really beautiful polishes to share with you all, so let's just get into it. At the time of recording, I don't have all of the descriptions for the polishes. So I will, once I get a hold of those, I'll put those in the description box or they'll be on my blog post on nicolelovesnails.com. This first polish is by Peachtree Polish and it's called Karma Yin Yang. What I was seeing in person is a red jelly with pink and white hex glitters and smaller holographic glitters. This was my first time trying the peach tree polish formula and it was fantastic, not too thick or too thin. This is a jelly, so you will need to build it up. I the glitters spread out pretty well on their own. I did find myself kind of dabbing glitters into spots that I kind of wanted them to be in, um, but that's completely optional. That's just, sometimes I can be a little anal when it comes to glitter placement. This is a little sheer. Um, I actually did three coats for this polish, but for some reason my third um, coat of it was completely out of focus and so I'm, I'm not going to use it. I think most people will be good in three coats. You might be able to get away with two thicker coats if you have shorter nails. This is a jelly and I find that you will most likely have some visible nail line if you have a free edge to speak of but I think this is a really fun, beautiful polish. The holographic sparkle is really, really pretty too. The glitters dry down slightly textured, so you will probably want to double up on top coat. And removal will be tricky if you decide to scrub it off, so I would recommend soaking. Next up is Sweet and Sour Lacquer with Coral Sunrise. What I was seeing in person is a bright coral jelly with um, iridescent looking flakies and a shimmer. Coral Sunrise had a great formula. It wasn't too thick or too thin and it applied really evenly and I also noticed it was very opaque. Shorter nails will probably be good in two coats. I had some tr transparency at the tips of my nails so I went in for a third coat. It didn't deepen the color, but it did add more opacity. This is a neon, so it's going to be very tricky to get the photograph just right. I find that this is looking more of an orangey coral on me. I think it's more of a pinky coral, if that makes sense. But this is absolutely beautiful. I really enjoyed this one. But I, I love neon, so of course I love this one. Nothing in here dries down textured, but you will want top coat for a glossy finish. This just looks absolutely gorgeous. I, I love neons and I love flakies, and so this is my kind of polish. So my swatch photos are in three coats, including glossy top coat and matte top coat for the final photo. Flakies really pop with the matte top coat, by the way. And the final polish is by Zombie Claw Polish, and it's called I Love You, A Lily. What I was seeing in person is a very light gray polish with maybe just a hint of purple in it, or cool leaning gray perhaps. And the flakies look like they are the multi-chrome UCC type of flakies. This had a great formula similar to between a Crelly and a Jelly polish. It is a little sheer on the first coat, so you definitely want to build it up for full opacity. I think it is sheer enough in one coat that you might be able to use it as a topper if you don't mind it obscuring the base color a little bit. I have said it before, I will say it again. Gray crellies with flakies or even just glitters are my jam. I love them. I can't have enough of them. And this is, I love it. I just, I just love it. It's so beautiful. The flakies all spread out evenly and easily on their own. You don't have any texture with this one. One coat of top coat smooths it out completely. And this is just a gorgeous polish. 
nothing in here is going to be too difficult to remove and nothing dries down textured. All in all, I think this was a fantastic release and just I loved all these polishes. If I was going to pick a favorite, it would probably be the Zombie Claw polish just based on my own personal preferences though. And that is it for the Talk Indie To Me box for February. Again, this will be $30 and for sale today on the Zombie Claw Polish website. When I have all of the details, I'll be sure to add them to the description box as well as my blog post on Nicole Loves Nails. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one. Bye!